Sometimes court documents are unsealed, and for a reporter, that should be a big deal, and I should be excited about it. And sometimes those court documents, I really wish I would never read, because they will never leave me. And that is what happened when I read about a little girl that we reported on in the last year, Harmony Montgomery, cute as a button, her little glasses and her smile, and uh, she'd gone missing, but no one cared. Nobody reported her missing for two years. Hmm. And then when finally the search began, police uh, smelled a rat and they started looking at the parents. Mom lost custody because of drug abuse. Dad got custody, he was living in a car with another woman who ultimately he ended up marrying. But poor little Harmony apparently was living in that car too. And now the mystery uh, seems to be solved somewhat. We at least know now that she is indeed dead and we have the allegations um, in the court documents about how she died. And the prosecutors say it was at Adam Montgomery, her daddy's hand. Living in the car, what would you imagine a five-year-old might do? Have an accident? Because that is what happened in the back seat. And Adam Montgomery was having none of it. Sick of her having accidents. So he, as he was driving, reached around and began punching her repeatedly in the face and head. So much so that Harmony died. And what happened afterward is nothing short of revolting. Here's what the prosecutor said. They quote, he delivered sets of three to four blows with a closed fist to Harmony's face and head on three separate occasions over the course of a few minutes. And then stuffed her body, quote, her grossly dismembered or distorted body in tied up trash bags and stuffed that into a red Under Armour duffel bag. And then touted that body around with his wife for months. You heard me months. He's charged with second-degree murder, tampering with witnesses and informants, falsifying physical evidence, and abuse of a corpse. Joining me now is legendary crime reporter Bob Ward. Um, he's been doing this business in Boston, Massachusetts um, for years and years. He's with Boston 25. He's been following this case closely. It's good to see you again, Bob. I'm sorry under these circumstances. Can you tell me how this awful set of facts continues after this little child is killed in the back seat. What happens next? Yeah, it's beyond the pale, actually. Um, almost according to Kayla Montgomery, the stepmother, after uh, they determined that uh, that little Harmony is no longer breathing and that she's dead, the car that this happened in breaks down in the middle of the road. And so before our help arrives, Adam Montgomery allegedly calmly goes into the trunk of the car, pulls out that a bag, you know, this big bag, Under Armour bag, puts his daughter's body in that bag and carries it down the street to an apartment complex where the the, the car, where they were living out of the car. And uh, from that point on, over the next several weeks and months, they move from, they move into another car, they stay with uh, Kayla's mother for a period of time. Um, they're taking that body with them, moving it from the Armour, uh, Under Armour bag in into a cooler at one time. Uh, they go into a family shelter. They allegedly, he, Adam, allegedly stuffed her body in that, those bags up into uh, a vent over the bedroom and put her body up there. Uh, only moved it when the body began to leak and began to smell and neighbors complained. So then they wrapped it up in more trash bags, moved it out again, uh, took her body to a pie company uh, that has a big commercial freezer um, put, actually put her body into a smaller bag, a tote bag, if you will, um, put it in this commercial freezer for a period of time for a couple of weeks while Adam Montgomery still worked. And then when they went into yet another apartment on Union Street, um, moved her body into a refrigerator, into a freezer um, to get her body into that bag, that tote bag you see right now. We brought her body into, a, uh, into the shower and turned up the steam and the heat to thaw the body and really work the body to get it into that bag. Actually, I'm telling you these things, I can't even believe these words are coming out of my mouth. Uh, it is so disgusting I, what I, ended up happening. I can't, I can't even believe that this is true, what, what's being alleged against this man. Um, and, and one of the worst details, I'll just wrap it this way, Bob, is that at one point, Kayla Montgomery stuffed that tote bag filled with the remains of right. little Harmony Montgomery between her two children in the stroller to take right. it to his office where he was working. It's 
Right. Bob, let's uh, let's revisit this at the time when there is a trial, potentially a conviction, and then the punishment, and we'll see if um, we feel any different about this. Thank you so much for this tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.